In this example, we will select the most appropriate method to solve various equations, either cross-multiplication or the LCM method. In part A, we have the equation 2x over 3 equals 4. This has the form fraction equals fraction, since there is only one term on each side of the equation. Use cross-multiplication. Multiply diagonally to get 2x. Multiply diagonally the other way to get 12. Divide both sides by 2 for our final answer, x equals 6. Now we'll solve part b. There are multiple terms here with fractional coefficients, so multiply both sides by the lowest common multiple. The LCM for 3 and 4 is 12. Distribute 12 through the brackets. Use cancelling to reduce the fractions. We now have 4 times 2 minus 3x equals 12. Simplify to get 8 minus 3x equals 12. Collect constants on the right side to get minus 3x equals 4. Divide both sides by minus 3 to get our final answer, x equals minus 4 over 3. Now we'll solve part c. We can write the equation so it has the form fraction equals fraction, and we'll use cross-multiplication. Multiply diagonally to get 2 times x minus 2. Multiply diagonally the other way to get 3 times x minus 1. Distribute 2 through the brackets to get 2x minus 4, and distribute 3 through the brackets to get 3x minus 3. Collect terms with x on the left side and constants on the right side. Divide both sides by minus 1 to get x by itself. This gives us our final answer of minus 1. Now we'll solve part d. There are multiple terms with fractional coefficients, so multiply both sides by the lowest common multiple. The LCM for 3 and 2 is 6. Distribute 6 through the brackets. Use cancelling to reduce the fractions. We now have 2 times x minus 1 plus 6 equals 3x. Distribute 2 through the brackets to get 2x minus 2. Collect terms with x on the left side and constants on the right side. Divide both sides by minus 1 to get x by itself. Our final answer is x equals 4.